As of May 10th, 2022, Unity 2022.1 Tech Stream is now available. Make your voice heard as Unity takes their first step toward the next Unity LTS release by exploring the latest features in their new Tech Stream release cycle. The new 2022.1 Tech Stream is available for download from Unity's releases page. The new Tech Stream releases give you an opportunity to go hands-on with early features, provide feedback, and engage in dialogue on adding new tools and features or improving existing ones. Tech streams are released twice a year and ensure that when the LTS releases in 2023, that you're already familiar with new features and ready to incorporate all of the functionality into your new project or game. In the post found in the link below, you will find more information and highlights on the key focus areas of the tech stream, including unified UI, artist usability, iteration speed, and platform enhancements. You can always find more details in the official release notes. Want more information on tech stream? Check out the release notes and Unity manual for details about what's new. Links in the description below. You can download Unity 2022.1 simply by using your Unity Hub. If you're curious about what's coming or want to share your feature ideas with them, visit the Unity Platform Roadmap page. Each tech stream release is supported with weekly updates until the next one. But keep in mind, there is no guaranteed long-term support for new features. For that, they recommend using the more stable, better supported Unity LTS release, especially for projects or games in production. Additionally, remember to always back up your work before upgrading it to a new Unity version. See their upgrade guide for advice on bringing your project to Unity 2022.1. Help make a better Unity that works for you. They've just begun the Unity 2022 journey, but they are excited to continue collaborating with you, the users, to help make the Unity editor and tools the best game engine on the market. Your feedback is essential, so download the new release use the new features, and send your feedback. You can share any general feedback about the new release in the announcement forum post and specific feedback regarding key features in the dedicated forum groups for different areas, such as render pipelines, UI toolkit, frame timing manager, etc. But always remember, don't just play, create.